So we've all seen this laptop before. It should be very familiar, the Dell XPS 13. And you might already know that in the past we've always said this is the best laptop you can buy. But this one has something special. This is the new XPS 13 7390. And it has something no 13 inch laptop has ever had, insane power. Now I'm not gonna get into all of the details about what makes the XPS 13 great this year. A lot of the changes that happened, most of them happened earlier this year, like the tiny little webcam that they shrunk into the bezel or the new color options, all that stuff is great, but it all happened earlier this year in the previous model. So make sure to check out our review of that if you wanna know what I thought about it. But let's get to what really counts with this update, performance. Our review unit came with the Core i7, 10710U processor from Intel. This is a 10th generation Comet Lake processor and the details on that are important because this is not your typical Core i7 laptop processor. It's a special variant that features, get this, six cores in a laptop, a 13 inch laptop. It's the first chip we've ever seen like this, and this is one of the very first laptops that actually gets to use this powerful new chip. So more cores means more multitasking, more applications that can actually use those extra cores to get things done. Now, you might be wondering, like I was, can this little chassis actually handle this much power? Because there's a reason why there are limitations to that. There are thermal limitations. So I went into these tests kind of skeptical about whether or not the new XPS 13 could actually handle all this stuff. And to my surprise, it's really, really impressive what this little laptop can do. In terms of just raw benchmarks, the six core XPS 13 is in a league I never would have thought it could be in. I was comparing it to laptops like the 15 inch Razer Blade. I mean, this is a six core gaming laptop. Didn't matter what I threw at it, whether it was Geekbench, Cinebench, single core, multi-core test, everything I did, the XPS 13, this little laptop here, was at least 5% ahead of the Razer Blade. And that's a really good sign for actual real life performance too. Now, that would be true if we were only testing CPU performance alone. But of course, when you bring something like a Razer Blade or another content creation device like a XPS 15 or MacBook Pro, these things all have discrete graphics. So comparing them one to one is gonna be a little difficult for this guy with its pretty sad integrated Intel graphics. However, that doesn't mean we weren't seeing any performance increases over previous generations. In fact, it was pretty significant. So yeah, this XPS 13 was a solid 20% behind something like the Razer Blade in video encoding. Still, the two extra cores on this XPS 13 completely change what's possible on a 13 inch laptop. And here's what I mean. Let's say you have a 4K video export that takes 20 minutes to do on last year's high-end XPS 13, pretty normal. On this year's model though, with those six cores, you can expect that to be dropped down to just 13 and a half minutes. That's a significant increase in speed. And if you're coming from something like a quad-core 13-inch MacBook Pro, you could probably expect to see a similar increase. So yeah, there are still limitations with a laptop this size, but with those six cores in here, this makes it the most powerful 13-inch laptop you can buy right now. Now this high-end six core model only comes in the option with the 4K screen. Fortunately, the panel that Dell uses for its 4K options is really great. It's super bright, maxing out at over 470 nits. That's brighter than even the industry-leading MacBook Pro. It's super sharp at 4K resolution across a 13-inch screen. And most importantly, it's been calibrated for really accurate colors. So a photographer or a content creator can rely on that precision in the screen. As always, a higher resolution screen means less battery life. And the XPS 13 has always been been one of the best you could get in terms of battery life, but that's with the 1080p model. On this 4K model, we were getting somewhere around seven, seven and a half hours, under that eight hour workday that I like to see on a modern laptop. And that'll dramatically go down if you're doing any kind of heavy applications or anything like that. But you can get through the majority of a workday as long as you're sticking to relatively light usage in my experience. So the appearance of this XPS 13 hasn't really changed at all. But there is another Dell laptop out there, the XPS 13 2-in-1 that just came out that I really like. There's a couple of tweaks to the formula that Dell has made that I kind of wish had been brought over to the XPS 13. The XPS 13 2-in-1 uses more aluminum in the build of it and less plastic. That's always a good thing in my books. And even the keyboard. I didn't love that keyboard more than this one, the Maglev super short travel one. 
but they did kind of stretch out the keys a little bit. It's a little more of a comfortable setup. They go right up to the edge of the laptop, and I really like that design choice, and I wish that would be brought over to the XPS 13. Most importantly though, with the XPS 13 2-in-1, you get those improved Ice Lake graphics. I'm not gonna get into all the details about the difference between Intel Ice Lake and Intel Comet Lake, but basically what you need to know is you get those Iris Plus integrated graphics with Ice Lake, and here you just get the very basic, honestly really bad integrated graphics from normal Intel processors. And I know that's kind of an Intel thing, not a Dell thing, but when you face those two products next to each other, that is one of the options that you need to consider. One last thing to consider with this new XPS 13 is price because it's a little more expensive than it used to be, at least with how Dell has set up the configuration. So you wanna be really careful about which one you buy. The base model that starts at $950 comes with a Core i3 and four gigabytes of RAM. That's just a two core processor and I really don't think that's something that most people are gonna want. At only $50 cheaper than the MacBook Air, it's kind of a tough sell for me. But if you bump up to either the Core i5 or the Core i7 options, obviously you're gonna get a lot more power. You're gonna get either a four core or a six core processor. That six core model does start at $1350, which I think is actually a pretty good price for how much power you're getting. And of course you can add on extra RAM or a 4K display from there. At over $1,700, which is what you'd have to pay for this particular unit, I mean, you have a world of options out there for laptops. If you're looking at a similar six core processor to this one in a different laptop, there's not a ton of options out there. Right now, probably the best one is the ThinkPad X1 Carbon, which is coming out soon. But if you put this six core Core i7 in there with a 4K screen, you're gonna be looking at over $3,000. Another interesting option might be the Razer Blade Stealth, which is limited to a four core processor, but does have that discrete GTX 1650, and it comes with a 4K screen. So that's kind of an interesting option as well, that's also gonna cost you $2,000. So while this is still definitely a high-end laptop, I mean, that's still a lot of money for sure. But I really love that Dell has brought some innovation, some extra performance, without adding a bunch of extra cost to their best laptop, the XPS 13. And I can say today as strongly as I've said it in the past, still think this is the laptop that most people should buy. And now, especially if you're the type of person who wants a small laptop that has a lot of power. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you watch this and you're wondering like, hey, how come we didn't talk about the ports or the keyboard or the bezels or something like that? Like I said, make sure to check out this review over here where I go in depth on all the different changes Dell has made to this particular chassis. It's exactly the same as that one. So make sure to check that out and leave us a comment below. I really wanna know what you guys think of this six core 13 inch laptop. I know we're gonna get more of these in the future, but let me know if that's something you're interested in checking out for your next laptop. And lastly, make sure to subscribe for more videos from Digital Trends. Thank you.